I'm a honeys. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be creating this eyeshadow look for you guys using the one and only Diva palette. <laughs> Be Bella Cosmetics times Jenny Rivera. I got the Diva palette again. So there is two different palettes. So there's this one and then there's another one called Unforgettable. They both run for $24.99. Now you guys on their website, everything is sold out. Like everything they came out with two highlighters and then uh, i believe two pairs of lashes um and then they have the two palettes but honestly this one screamed out jenny more to me um and so that is what i was inspired by today because she wears a lot of smoky eyes i was on google and i was looking at a bunch of inspirations um pictures to inspire me and look like she has very smoky eyes in every single picture and that's definitely what i was super inspired by today's look i wanted to keep it very um sexy and very sultry and smoky just like her um so i was inspired by this picture actually because i really like the darkness but you can still see a little bit of like gold shimmery gold eyeshadow um and more darkness towards the outer corner which is definitely what i did today a little bit darker than this picture for sure so right now i'm um, going to really you want guys to play with the of the palette, palette, palette as well as a close-up how the palette it performs i also did my hair inspired by jenny because she curls her hair and she curl and she puts it towards the side i'm sorry there is still construction going around in my house right here so if it's super loud i'm trying to hurry here so that way you guys don't get annoyed as much as annoyed as i am they're being super loud more than than any other day i don't know why and I'm frustrated, so I'm gonna try to hurry up. <laughs> so Jenny Rivera, you guys, I absolutely love her. I grew up listening to her music. Um, I watched her Jenny show on, I think it was Telemundo, was it? Or MTV3. I don't remember which one it was, but I would always watch her TV show. Um, I felt like the Riveras were super funny and hilarious. Never a dull moment when watching their episodes. And then when she sadly passed away, um, few, I believe a few years later they ended up doing a um, series of her life on Telemundo and I was obsessed you guys I was so hooked I watched the whole entire season and I wish that they would have added some more because <laughs> I was so addicted to it if you guys have seen that please give this video a thumbs up because I absolutely loved watching that I was so hooked I honestly felt like I was there with her and I felt her pain as well like her life you guys is so inspirational and it's so motivating the fact that everything that happened to her like literally everything i was just like oh my god she had so much strength to still keep on going and chasing after her dreams and that's really inspiring to me and life can beat you down if you let it and i felt like watching her series i just was like so inspired by her because she never gave up she kept going and i'm really glad that they came out with this collection and i love how the rivera still try to keep her alive still try for people not to forget about her when i got my package you guys this came in the mail too um look how beautiful this is this was her last concert before she passed away um and when i opened it you guys and i saw this i got so many chills pobrecita you know and then on the back you have her two daughters and then you have her sister and i feel like this is so pretty i don't i don't even want to throw it away normally i throw these cards away but this one i feel like i want to keep it so with all that said you guys i hope that you enjoyed today's eyeshadow tutorial on using the diva palette by b bella cosmetics times jenny rivera hope you guys enjoy it if you like it so far give this video a big thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel share and like this video and i'll see you guys very very soon so here we have you guys the palette from the front it just says jenny rivera times b bella cosmetics and then here is the palette so beautiful we do get 16 eyeshadows which um, some are matte and some are shimmer it runs for $24.99 it's como por decir that you're paying like a dollar 56 um, cents for each eyeshadow so in my personal opinion i don't think it's such a bad price point um and then in the back she does have a quote dedicated to her fans it says god created me my parents conceived me but my fans made me i am eternally grateful jenny rivera so the first shade you guys that i'm going to swatch is called seductive it's a nice shimmer warm gold and then we have lbc it's more of a matte neutral warm brown and then we have sexy and it's a matte dark brown and the next shade we have is called queen it's more of a matte black shade of course and then we have besos and it's more of a eggplant um, like a dark purple um, next we have J Unit. Um, it's a terracotta orangey brown. 
um, as well. It's matte. And then we have Dama Divina, and that's more of a matte soft brown. Swatching Big Booty, this one is a sapphire blue. It's also shimmery. The next shimmer color that we have is called Unforgettable, and this one's silver. And then we have Atrevida, it's a shimmer bronzy brown. And then we have La Gran Señora, this one's my favorite. It's a nice shimmery jet black with glitter reflex. Next we have Chacalosa, it's a shimmer rusty copper brown. Next we have Shea, and this is a shimmer antique gold. Um, and then we have Inolvidable, and it's matte. It's more of a dark gray silver color. And then um, we have Tequilera. It's a nice shimmery bronzy honey, like a rose gold. And last but not least, we have um, Paloma Negra, and this is more of a matte bone shade. All right, my honeys, and that's pretty much all of the 16 swatches. Some are matte and some are shimmery eyeshadows. Next, let's go ahead and jump in and start with the eyeshadow tutorial. Going into the shade called LBC, and I'm going to be using my Morphe M433. I'm going to be using this shade, you guys, as my transition shade, and I'm going to keep it right in the crease. I'm going to buff it in towards the inner and outer corner. I will extend the eyeshadow going outwards to pull the eye back a little bit more to really give it that nice smoky effect. Next, I'm going to go into Dama Divina, and it's that nice matte soft brown, and I'm going to blend right on top of LBC just to blend out the edges. Okay, guys, I'm going to pick up the shade Sexy, and it's a nice dark brown shade, and it's also matte. I'm going to focus this towards the outer corner, and I'm using my Morphe M433, and then I'm going to switch over and pick up my Morphe M441, and using the shade LBC, we're going to go ahead and blend on top of that to make it a little bit softer and less harsh. Since Jenny has very smoked out eyes, I'm going to go into my 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil by Urban Decay in the shade 0. And I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line as well as tight line my eyes. And I'm going to smoke the top um, lash line as well, but I'm only going to focus it towards the outer corner. I'm not going to smoke it out towards the inner corner because we will smudge it out with a brush in just a second. Going back into the shade Sexy, I'm going to grab my MAC 239S brush and I'm going to start to just smudge the liner and smoke out my lower lash line. And then you guys, I will go up to the top of my lash line and I'm going to smudge out the outer corner and then with whatever I have left, I will take it all the way towards the inner corner. Taking another extra step, I'm going to go back into my Morphe M433 and a little bit of Sexy and I'm going to start to darken up the outer corner a little bit more so that way there are no harsh lines. Taking a little bit of setting spray, I'm going to apply it towards my Morphe M167 brush and then I'm going to pick up the color Shea and we're going to place it right in the center of our lid um, since this will be our main lid shade. Um, and then I'm going to go back into my Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Sexy and I'm going to apply a little bit towards the outer corner to blend out that shimmer shade. Still using my Morphe M167, I'm going to pick up a little bit of Tequilera. It's that nice rose gold shimmery eyeshadow, and I'm going to place it right in the inner corner. Going back to that pencil, I'm going to start to apply it in my waterline to make it a lot darker since we definitely want this eyeshadow look to be very smoky and very like Jenny. You guys are going to see right here what a difference it makes when you blow out <laughs> the smokiness on your lower lash line. And then I'm going to also just touch up the um, inner corner of my eye and um, tight line just a little bit more to make it 10 times more darker. <laughs> Let's go ahead and curl our lashes, you guys. And then I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Mascara. I've been loving this mascara, you guys. It literally stays put, especially for these hot summer days. This has been my go-to mascara. For lashes today, I'm going to go into Blanca Flor Mink Lashes in the style Caprichosa. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face off camera, and I'll be right back. Going into my MAC 266, I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that black matte shade called Queen. And I'm going to just set my eye pencil so that way it doesn't go anywhere at all throughout the night. Especially if you're going to be going out dancing or going to a boda where you want your liner to stay put. This is an extra tip for you guys to make your liner last a lot longer. Using my Morphe M507, I'm picking up Dama Divina and LBC to smoke out my lower lash line. And then I'm going to pick up the color Paloma Negra and I'm going to use this for my brow bone. Going back to my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, I'm going to coat my lower lashes. 
All right, you guys, and that is it for look number one. This very nice, smoky outer corner and very smoked out lower lash line. Hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Now let's go ahead and jump into look number two. So for look number two, I did the other eye off camera, so I'm going to go ahead and take off my lashes. <laughs> and I'm going to use a Neutrogena makeup wipe to clean around the eye, a little bit towards the lower lash line. And then I take my beauty sponge that I used to apply my foundation earlier, and with whatever remaining product that I have, I will apply it to my eye. And then take concealer again and get ready for eyeshadow. So I'm going to go into the shade J unit and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I am going into my uh, Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to apply this right in the crease and then buff it towards the inner and outer corner. Picking up the shade LBC and still using the same Morphe M441, I'm going to blend out the edges. I did apply setting powder if you guys can tell underneath my eye just in case if there is any fallout. We don't want any staining. Now I'm going to pick up the shade Besos and I'm going to apply it right in the crease to darken up my crease and then I'm going to buff it towards the inner and then outer corner and I'm going to darken up the outer corner a little bit more with the shade Besos. Going back to my Morphe M433, I'm going to pick up the color Queen which is the black matte shade and I'm going to apply it in my crease, buff it towards the inner corner and then darken up the outer corner. You guys, I am so impressed by the color Besos and the color J unit. They are so stunning. They blend so beautifully like butter and this black, you guys, it's really hard to get a really nice black. This black might just be my favorite black <laughs> to use. Um, it is so good. It's time to apply my favorite part. I'm going to go into the color Chacalosa and it's the nice rustic copper brown and I'm using my MAC 239 to apply it of course with a little bit of setting spray on the brush and you guys this is seriously stunning. It does remind me of a penny but you guys this shimmery eyeshadow is so beautiful and it's applying so good really creamy on the eyes. Dipping back into the color Besos and Queen, I'm going to use my MAC 239S and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm going to be using the exact same lashes, so I'm not going to change the style. And then I'm going to dust off my setting powder. Um, and then for my brow bone, I'm going to use the exact same shade called Paloma Negra. And that's pretty much it, you guys, for look number two. Um, let me know your thoughts down below on this look. If you like it, if you don't like it, let a girl know. Surprise, you guys! I decided to do a, another look, number two. I wanted to switch it up and try some more of the other colors from the palette, and you guys, I am obsessed. I am obsessed. <laughs> so, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, so if you made it towards the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and really quick and give you guys my final thoughts on the palette, the pigmentation, and all that good stuff. So, honestly, you guys, I feel like this palette blended out so, so good. I was very impressed my first time using Be Bella Cosmetics, and I think you guys that they did a very, very good job. Um, the eyeshadows are super pigmented, especially for the price of the palette. I feel like they performed really, really good. And, I mean, you guys can see here, clearly, it's all blended really smoothly. Um, I also really enjoyed this palette because I feel like this one reminds me more of Jenny than the Unforgettable palette um, because this one is definitely more smoky. It's definitely eyeshadows that I feel like she personally would wear. Um, so that's why I actually got this palette because the other one, I didn't really feel Jenny in that palette. Like the colors are beautiful, do not get me wrong, but this one definitely stood out to me and screamed Jenny. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed look number two as well with using this palette. I feel like um, I was able to create another other look and also be very satisfied if you guys enjoyed this video today please give it a big thumbs up and if you do recreate this eyeshadow look tag me on instagram i love to see people's recreations and repost them on my ig stories so i love you guys so much besitos los quiero y nos vemos pronto bye